Hello and welcome to this very short video on business choices. So in this video, we're going to look at what we mean by a business choice in this context. We're going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about opportunity cost and we're going to talk about trade offs. So let's start with opportunity cost. Often businesses have to choose between two different alternatives. Should I invest in my marketing or should I invest in building a new factory, for example? And a way in which a business can assess that decision, what is the best decision, is to think about the opportunity cost. And the opportunity cost is the benefit lost from the next best alternative foregone. So for example, if we choose to go with the marketing strategy, the opportunity cost of that decision is the benefits we could have had if we'd built the new factory. So we think whenever we make a decision, what was the next best option and what was the value of that next best option? And it's a good way of ours assessing whether our choice is actually a good choice or not, because obviously if the opportunity cost is higher than the choice that we've made, we would say our decision is not particularly good. So this is an important definition. Uh, let's make sure we have this down in our notes. Opportunity cost is the benefit lost from the next best alternative of a decision. Let's have a look at some examples, but obviously I will need to remove that. So the opportunity cost of setting up a business might be the salary sacrificed as the entrepreneur gives up their paid employment to pursue their dream of running their own business. So the decision here, what is the decision? The decision here is to set up a business. And what might be the opportunity cost of that? Well, what was the next best alternative? The next best alternative was the fact that they could have stayed in paid employment. And so what was the value of that? That would have been the salary they could have earned. So the opportunity cost of setting up the business will be the salary they could have had if they'd stayed in the next best option, which was to stay um, working for another business. Another example, the opportunity cost of launching a new product could be the new piece of machinery that the business decides to sacrifice to pay for the new product launch. So again, we can go through and say, what was the decision? The decision was to launch a new product. And what was the alternative that they could have had? The next best alternative was the new piece of machinery and the value they would have got from the new piece of machinery is effectively the opportunity cost, what they've sacrificed by choosing to launch a new product. Okay, now let's talk about a business trade-off. So sometimes business choices involve a trade-off and a trade-off means accepting less of one thing in order to gain more of something else. So businesses sometimes might have to make a bit of a compromise here, accept less of one thing in order to gain more of something else. So some examples might include a trade-off between trading, training your staff and increased spending on promotion. We can't spend as much on training and spend as much on promotion at the same time. So there's going to be a trade-off between them. We might have to have less training in order to have more promotion. We might have to trade off quality with unit cost. So we might have to have slightly lower quality products in order to reduce our unit costs. By having lower quality, we have cheaper materials, it reduces our unit costs. So less quality, more uh, or a better unit cost. And another one might be to trade off the rewards with risk. So we could have more reward if we were to enter the Chinese market. However, this would also increase the risk because we don't understand the culture or how to set up a business there. So we might have to reduce the reward in order to reduce the risk. So when we're talking about business choices, we need to be aware of these two concepts, opportunity cost and trade-offs. A final example, an entrepreneur may trade leisure time in order to increase time spent working on their business. Again, this would illustrate uh, a nice trade-off. That's it. Thanks very much for listening.